dear student i am dr v manimuthu working as assistant professor pg and research department of history jamal muhammad college tiruchirappalli now going to explain the topic on viswanatha nayak viswanatha nayak was founder of nayak ship in madurai the vijayanagar ruler appointed him as viceroy of the south he came to the south with a strong army and consolidated his position quickly these changes enabled him to maintain peace in the kingdom within a short period he proved his efficiency in administration viswanatha nayak gave due importance to the economic development of the state a view to improve agriculture he destroyed forest and converted them into arable lands barren lands were also brought under cultivation special attention was given to improve the condition of irrigation irrigational facilities were improved the development of agriculture production and the prompt collection of tax the revenue of the state increased considerably suppression of robbers during his administration robbers were a permanent menace to the people they disturbed traders and pilgrims to put and end to these effective steps were taken against them hence steps were taken to destroyed forest on either side of the river kaveri road were constructed in this region with a view to enhance transport facilities the fort were constructed at madurai and tiruchi for the production of the people religious activities he renovated various hindu temple madurai meenachi sundareswara temple was renovated during his period it is believed that he constructed the most famous ayiram kal mandavam at madurai he spent 3 lakh for renovation of the tiruvaranga perumal temple street and house were constructed around the temple to encourage habitation the koilur hirakkar revealed this fact he also paid special attention to the development of the temples at tiruchi and sriranga separation of pandyas the minor chiefs in the south commonly called as pancha pandyas revolted and caused disturbance to the people viswanatha nayak suppressed the revolt with an iron hand with the help of his dalavai aryanath conquest of kambam and kodalur kambam and kodalur region were included in the vijayanagar emperor he tributary chola captured this region and refused to pay the tribute to the vijayanagar ruler so with a view to punish the chola and to collect the tribute viswanatha sent an army under the command of ramachandra nayak it defeated the chola army and annexed kambam and kodalur with madurai conquest of venad as the protector of hindu religion viswanatha decided to enforce varnashrama dharma in the kingdom he acted against religious activities of other religions it was during this period the ruler of venad gave protection and various aids to the christian viswanatha disliked the attitude 
of the ruler of Venadu. So, with a view to punish the ruler, he sent an army under the command of one of the commander in chief to Venadu. Venadu was conquered. It was brought under the control of the Nayak of Madurai till 1564. Extent of the Kingdom He ruled a vast kingdom that comprised roughly the modern district of Madurai, Ramnad, Tirunelveli, Tirichi, Coimbatore, and Salem and a part of Triangle. Various administrative change were introduced during his period. For the convenience of administration, the kingdom was divided into a number of palayams and were put in charge of the palayakar. He ruled Madurai for 35 years. Viswanatha died at the age of the 69. Thank you.